once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion.
They, they know what's coming. They That's always right. know what's coming. Ready. Yes, you're ready. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I know the answer to the question, but you ready to see him in action? Yeah. Let's rock.
Set if it's a tie. If you ever try to go against the game, we gon' drop it. Let's go blow for blow, yeah. let's go toe to toe When it's time to battle, they don't never ever show When it's time to battle, I'm the first one at the door At the door, yeah. here we go Get over here. This is gonna be next
We never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. And fought as we had for generations. Until the day the sky rained fire, and the new enemy came among us. And now, upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last. Too late. This entire city must be purged. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer.
us were ready for the end. The flames devoured everything. And when death rolled through our valley, our world turned cold and dark. The years of rain, the howling winds, gave way to blue skies and a new world in bloom. We felt hope. We were wrong. just kids when the bombs dropped and the world went to shit. They said it was supposed to be the end of everything. But for us, <laughs> it was just the beginning. Surviving? Nah. We were better than that. This new world had a lot to give and we took it all. That's how we came out on top. That's how we got here. That's how we found you. Listen here, rabbits. You need to understand something. The only currency left in this world is power. We're gonna take everything from you, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. happening to me. For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. It's your grandmother's? There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. Where are we going? Back to where it all began. I need to know the truth. Or are we the prey? She'd never be our enemy by choice. I know that. <laughs> but what if it's not her choice? The necklace? That's a locust symbol. I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Katie. Mom! Samurai. 
You are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai, do you surrender? late. You're impatient. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. Sago Bridge. We strike quietly. Or they kill the monk. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. I had the stuff off Lokban. Please, I do not understand. Uldath we, Chamagot unhami. Uthmi che yavan sakt, che obe lotno. Ti ni hori aya. Fifteen years since the fall. The city is a corpse, and we are the worms. We burrow in it, fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged, and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. Choices. 
choices we take to survive will create the world to come. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply has allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker.